What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model a wooden gazebo in Revit. Now this is an essential part of the American dream if, in my opinion. So if you want the American dream you need to have that beautiful wife, two kids, Cadillac in the garage, big house, a golden retriever and of course a big wooden gazebo next to the pool. So in today's video I'm just going to be showing you how to accomplish at least one small part of that dream and that's the wooden gazebo. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so here I am in Revit and uh, this you can either do as a family or as a project. And if you do it as a project, you need to link it in, uh, basically just by going to links in Revit. And if you want to learn more about that, check out the link in the description of this video where I explain how to link up different projects. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing because uh, working in this project environment you have some columns, roofs, some of the things that are going to make your uh, gazebo a lot easier to uh, to model than if you were working with just the generic uh, generic forms. So first I'm just going to set the units to centimeters because I think that's the right type of units for this type of a project and now let's start modeling. So let's go to south elevation and let's change level 2 to I don't know, something like 300 or maybe even 260, I don't know. A gazebos shouldn't be too high, that's at least in my opinion. Then I'm going to go here and create a floor and let's edit the, the floor and let's make it some wood material over here. So let's see. Let's see the appearance of this. Yeah, this works fine. Let's go OK, apply, OK and then I'm just going to be creating a rectangle like so and make sure that it's I don't know something like 500 centimeters this way and let's do it 300 this way this works for me so it will be a rectangular gazebo and now I'm just going to give it a height offset of minus 5 centimeters and that that's because I'm going to be doing another floor on top of this so go edit type or sorry no, new floor Edit type, duplicate, and let's call this one the 40 millimeter. And that's so it can have that little overhang, and you'll see that in a moment. And let's just add some wood flooring material. So just apply, OK, OK, and now let's go here and give it an offset of something like 4 centimeters and do something that looks like this. And if we go here into edit type, you should change this to 4 centimeters. OK. Apply OK. And let's see if I go to south elevation. OK, yeah, I have offset this minus 5. It should be minus 4. Yeah, and as you, as you can see now, we have this little overhang. And it looks kind of nice to have that little floor overhanging over the, the actual foundation of the, of the whole gazebo. Anyway, let's go back into level 1 and just to see where that foundation is, you should go here and turn this to wireframe and then go into, uh, not VG, VR, view range and change this to unlimited and go apply, OK. Let's see, unlimited, yeah, and wireframe, OK, and now you can see that little foundation. Now you need to add some columns, so let's go here to structure, columns, and let's go load family, let's drop back a folder and go into metric and let's go with structural columns and let's go with wood, timber and let's choose the smallest one and just go OK and set the height to level 2 and just start, oops, we've got a warning over here, cancel, OK and let's just place it over here like this and then you can just al type in a L for align and align it over here like this and then you can go and you can just go copy and let's copy it a couple of times like this or you can use an array that's really up to you and now just to dimension this you just go di for dimension and then you can make these dis distances equal so you just do this and go eq and now they're equal okay and you select all of the all of the columns and you copy it all the way to the other side and now let's just this create similar and place one in the middle and let's see using di or dimension you can 
kind of make sure that it's exactly in the middle. And let's delete this and just copy this to the other side. So we have our columns now and if we go into 3D this is what it looks like. Now I want to add some uh, wooden framing uh, across the top just to hold everything in place and to do that you just go into level 2 this is what you see then you go here and just make sure that you're at fine for your detail level to, to be able to see this these uh, wood, wood framing and go into US metric let's search for structural framing here it is wood timber and choose the same one so the same dimension and then you just go all the way around placing your beams and if we go into 3D this is what we get now we need to add some of those side elements over here and let's go just into south elevation and I'm actually going to be modeling this as in place uh, families so just change the detail level to find so you can see the thickness of the the thickness of the columns and now we can start modeling that so just go component model in place let's just see structural framing okay and people get mad when I do this but uh, in all seriousness it I think it's this is the type of an element that you're not really going to be repeating and it's just faster to do it as model in place so it doesn't really matter it's not really a an extremely important structural element so I'm just going to be modeling this like this. I mean Revit is in my opinion all about doing the things the most efficient way and this is just the quickest way to get to, the, to this shape. So just go here and create an arc kind of like this just to add a little bit pizzazz and to make it look nice and then just trim and extend this part over here. Let's just finish this or we can just go and select the thing. Go DM for draw mirror and mirror it to the other side and then you can just go CO for copy and let's copy it here and then let's copy this one kind of like that and you can actually just select one of them and go control C just to uh, copy the shape and we're going to be using that later and let's just uh, change this to wood framing like that. Now go to east elevation and make sure and of course set this to fine and now you just need to make sure that it's inside of these uh, columns and then just go copy unconstrain it and you just copy it to the other side and if we go into 3D this is what it looks like. Now go back into the east elevation and again go create set, uh, set work plane set it to this extrusion and you just go control V to paste that shape and here it is so you just go and again DM for draw mirror and you mirror it to the other side then you just go CO for copy and you copy it here again CO for copy copy this here and we're finished back into south elevation again just to make sure that it's in the correct position and of course change the material to our wood material and let's just copy it to the other side unconstrain and copy it over here okay now our gazebo is starting to take some decent shape okay now is the time to do the railing and you can either do this as a model in place as well or what I found to be a bit easier is if I move Revit out of the way here you can see this is a some wooden fence family and if I open it up it looks like this so let's just open this up and you just select this wooden fence and you go control C and then you flip to your project and you go control V and let's save no I'm going to save the project a bit later anyway you just place the fence somewhere in this project and you've got this fence and now you've created a, a new uh, railing type that is actually this fence so if I go over here and go with just railing and create a rectangle railing around this that kind of stops in the middle so let's use split lines over here and over here as well and just go finish and if we go here and go fence 
and go into 3D, this is what we get. But as you can see, this fence is way too high. So to make it lower, uh, we can use a couple of methods, but the easiest one is to go just to edit type and just go here into edit, or sorry, not that one. You go into this first edit, and let's see here for the height, and you can just change it to, I don't know, something like 90 centimeters. So just go apply, OK, apply, OK, and now as you can see it's much lower. And as you can see over here it's kind of poking out these corner elements. So in order to avoid that, go into level 1 and then you can just uh, adjust it. So just edit path and let's just move it to the outside a little bit, kind of like this. So those wooden elements won't be showing in the inside of this gazebo. So just go finish. Yeah, it looks a bit better, I guess. So there we go, we've got our little wooden fence. And now it's time to finish it off by placing a roof on top of everything. So just go to level 2, like this, go roof. And for this roof, first I'm just going to change this to generic 125 and go into edit type. And I'm just going to change this uh, the structure so on the outside it should be some uh, some shingle or something, let's see. Or this would shake, maybe, I don't know, so just go OK. And this I'm going to make it, I don't know, like 5 centimeters. Then I'm going to insert, insert, and move down another material. And this should be just wood framing. And so it has wood on the inside and like some shingles on the outside. And let's make this wood, I don't know, like 3 centimeters. Go apply, OK, and let's just do the rectangle over this and let's give it an offset of something like 40 centimeters so it stops the rain from coming in and just go finish and now you need to create a section over here just to see the actual position of the roof yeah and we need to just bring it down a bit so just go here for the base offset go minus I don't know like 50 oops too much minus 30 and we can go up a bit minus 25 yeah this works perfectly and let's just change the let's see change the slope to something like 20 degrees I think it looks a bit nicer and if we go into 3d this is what it looks like okay it should be a bit higher so let's do minus 20 yeah now we can see this okay and let's just create a nice little rendering to see what we have done so camera kind of like this Maybe it'll look down a bit. Yeah, this looks nice. And just type double R for rendering. Go with screen or printer, maybe. And let's go with medium setting. And just change the background to white for this shot. And just go render. And there you go, this is what we get. So we've got our li cool little gazebo modeled completely in Revit. And now you can link this in using the tutorial that I provided in the description of this tutorial. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.